If there is one thing that I can say about the year that is 2020 without stating the obvious, is that we've probably come to look at our screens more than ever, be that a Windows 10 PC, which many people have come to rely on, or something that is often with you, your phone. So that's what we're gonna look at today, your phone. Well, not your phone, it's it, your phone, it's an app on Windows. We're actually gonna be using my phone on your phone. Before we begin, we'd really appreciate if you can follow us, like, comment, share this video. If you like what you see, if you find it useful, share the love, yo. Announced as being added to Windows 10 back in 2018, the Your Phone app is designed to bridge the gap between your smartphone and your Windows 10 PC, giving you instant access to things like text messages, photos, phone calls, and much more. Uh, what we're gonna do now is really take a deep dive into what you can do with it, what devices it works with, and why you might wanna use it. All of that in a video where I'm gonna try my best not to confuse the term your phone in a sentence, which believe me, is really easy to do. Firstly, on your PC, you can find the app by typing in your phone into the search bar. Now, if you've never connected your phone, your smartphone to your PC before, uh, you might be greeted with a screen like this one, where it is asking what kind of phone we have. Uh, we will cover iPhone very quickly. Currently, there is limited support for iPhones connecting to the Your Phone app. Uh, you can send web pages from your iPhone to your PC uh, with the Edge browser, but that is pretty much it. Uh, hopefully, we'll see more in the future, but if you are an iPhone user watching this video, uh, keep in mind that everything else we talk about here will be for Android only. So, Android users, regardless of the brand, if you have an Android phone running software update 7.0 or later, you can experience much more functionality. Uh, to finish the setup process, you must be signed in with your Microsoft account and download the Your Phone mobile app uh, from the Play Store. Now, if you've got a compatible Samsung device, which is pretty much any of the S10s, the S20s, uh, the Note 9, Note 10, or the Note 20, or the magical foldables as well, uh, you won't have to do this. Instead, uh, you'll be using Link to Windows, uh, which is pre-installed on your phone. Uh, in any case, follow the steps, and once you're done, uh, you'll have a screen a lot like this one. Now, until I say otherwise, all the features I'm about to talk about uh, will be available to all Android devices, regardless of brand. Uh, there is one feature in particular, which is only on Samsung devices and the Surface Duo specifically, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. First, we have notifications. This one's pretty easy to explain. Any notifications you get on your smartphone will appear in the Your Phone app. Not only that, they are incorporated into Windows 10 itself, so your notifications will pop up just like any other notification on your PC, with a little indicator telling you it's from your phone. And that sentence actually works whether it's about the app or your actual phone, so this is going pretty well. Now, just like regular Windows notifications, you can use Focus Assist to mute all notifications that aren't from a priority contact or from an alarm, depending on how you have it set. Now, a question you might be asking is what if you want to mute some notifications, but not others? A good example of this is if you use Outlook, which I know I certainly do. Uh, I've already got Outlook on my PC uh, with it popping notifications whenever I get an email. I don't need the Your Phone app also telling me I have the same exact email from Outlook, which is installed on my phone. Can you see the problem here? Thankfully, this is very easy to do. On the notifications panel, click on customize and you'll then be given the option to switch off notifications to specific apps. Uh, so you only get pop-ups that are relevant to you. Uh, be that things from social media, messages, uh, whatever the case might be. You can also turn off notification banners entirely if you prefer. One down, next we have messages. Now this is currently synced to your text messages, which in my case is a treasure trove of confirmation text, delivery messages, and verification codes. Mm. Now, if you use your default text messaging service uh, lots for contacting friends and family, then uh, it's very useful for typing messages directly from your PC. But even if you don't, this is still very handy uh, for the main thing I really use it for, which is actually verification codes. Now, I'll log into something on my PC, uh, register to a service, I get sent a verification code, and I can literally just copy and paste the code to a relevant box on my PC. It's a small detail, but good golly gosh, I love me some small details. 
Photos next, this is an easy one, as you can sync up to 2,000 photos from your smartphone. Uh, so you can just open and browse directly in the app there. Uh, not only that, but you also have the option to open it fully in the Photos app, allowing you to make edits, copy it, save it to your PC, uh, or share it with a friend. There's also an open with option, so you can actually uh, use creative software for your photo as well uh, and open it directly into that. Cue the plug for Microsoft 365, which includes partner benefits, uh, giving you free time on a selection of applications, including at the time of recording, entire creative suites. So try that out if you like. Lastly, for all Android users, uh, we have calls. Once you've given permission, uh, you'll be able to see all your recent calls displayed in the app. And more than that, uh, you can make direct phone calls with it. And if someone rings you, you can answer the call on your PC. How awesome is that? One word of warning, wear headphones. Why? Did you ever do that thing where you take two phones and they're both on the same phone call, you put them on loudspeaker and then you talk and then you get that really harsh sound? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Basically, if you don't have headphones on, you'll get that same feedback loop from where your PC is acting as your phone and the mic is hearing the speakers. So just pop them on, you'll be good to go. That's all the features that you can use on any Android device that's running software 7.0 or later. So, are you still watching the video? If you are, thank you very much. Nice to see you. Welcome. Are you still watching? And your choice of phone is a Samsung phone, specifically any of the S10 series, S20 series, uh, Note 9, Note 10, Note 20, or the foldables if you are living on the cutting edge of phone tech. Yes? Well, this feature is for you. Thanks to a partnership between Microsoft and Samsung, people with these devices can use the new apps feature. Now, this allows you to open any app from your Samsung device directly on your PC. You can even right click each one and pin the app to your taskbar for faster access. Now, the first time you try it sharing your screen, uh, you'll have a notification pop up on the smartphone uh, to allow permission for screen sharing. Give that permission and then Boom! Uh, your entire phone is now on your PC. We can navigate the screen with a mouse, or if you have a touchscreen device, it's even more intuitive as you can navigate your phone with your phone like your phone. And that sentence actually works. This does also allow you to use Cloud Clipboard, which is where you can copy text from your PC and paste it onto the shared screen of your smartphone, which is ridiculously useful. Now, something I can't show you is the idea behind apps, uh, which is to allow you to have multiple Android applications open in several different windows on your PC. Uh, now, on my system currently, uh, when I click a different app, it just opens in the same window as my previous. But eventually, uh, the idea is that you'll be able to click on each app and have them running side by side, uh, which will be really cool and make even more sense of where you can pin them to the taskbar and pin them to your start menu. It's literally like having multiple instances running at the same time. So. I'm eager to see that when it arrives. Remember as well that these features that work on Samsung devices also work on the Surface Duo. I would be a really bad Microsoft person if I didn't mention that. In any case, that is pretty much it. Try it out yourself, tell your friends, uh, like and comment, share this video, all that good stuff. See you around.